have a little problem here. I don't know you. And um, I, I let you cover the party because the photographer I called failed to turn up. I've not seen any of her works before, so I'm very skeptical about the pictures I'm going to get from you. Well, I can assure you, you'd get the best. You love my shots. <sighs> okay, um, are you assuring me I'm going to get good pictures? Well, I, I work with a particular interest, and you're going to love my shots. Okay, so um, how do I get the pictures? Do I come to your place to pick them? Uh, let me come to your place. Let me bring the pictures to your doorstep. Let's start a relationship. Okay. So, how much is the bill? Um, for the best, pay me five thousand naira. Five thousand. Yeah. Okay. So with five thousand naira, I'm going to get good pictures. I show you love the shots. Fine. All right. Um, on your way out, I'll give you the five thousand naira. Thank you, madam. Sorry, I don't even know your name. <laughs> I'm Nicholas. All right. Okay. Mine is Florence. Florence, right, okay. Let me take more shots of you. Alright, no problem. No problem. Right, thank, thank you, Florence. Don't worry. It was just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. Got to make a way where there seems to be no way. Oh, yes. It's my time. But it's gonna come one day. Uh, how are you? I'm, I'm editing again. I'm just, I'm just coming from the temple office. Take a look at this. Oh my god. This is Krista. 365 again? Congratulations. Congratulations, man. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Ah, that's, this is great. You see, with this, no university in Nigeria will refuse your admission to read medicine. You're not born them well. Brother Bryce said he sent you when I called you. But... The... Hey, don't give me that sad look now. Come on. This is not the time for sad look. I think it's time to replace pessimism with hope. I mean, replace pessimism with optimism. Huge hope. Huh? Hope on what, brother? Brother Bright is here to recover from his business since they took him two years ago. And you're yet to find a good job ever since they deported you from Europe. Remember, by this time last year, I got above 300. But I couldn't take up the admission they offered me in uni like. Hope on. Hey, listen, this is not last year. You remember, by last year, I didn't have a job. We were practically begging for food from everybody, everywhere. But this year I have, I'm, I'm more like a freelance photographer. And by God's grace, we, uh, we are feeding dough poorly, but we are getting by. You know? Remember last year? We're squatting with Brother Bright, you and I. But this year we have a roof over our head. This is called improvement. Improvement. Things can only get better. Can't you see? God, please help me. God, I don't want to lose this opportunity again. I'm no more getting younger. All my mates are in the atelier in the university. Because don't abandon us. I totally believe in you and I believe you will never abandon us. Emeka. God does not abandon his own. His grace is enough for us. Okay? 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 Um, I made some jollof fries. It's in the kitchen, so you can just go and take your own portion. Let me return these pictures to their bonus, okay? In back shop. Oh, 
Cheer up, boy. I'll see you. It's my time that is gonna come one day. Oh, the best, and the one. It was a good outing. Yes. Oh, yes. Good afternoon, Lola. Oh. Good afternoon, my dear. Oh, well, fine. You're Chief. welcome. My dear, how are you? I'm fine. Please sit down, sit down, my dear. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. How was your birthday party? Oh, it was splendid. I never had so much fun in one day, all my life. Oh, I know. That's why I came to thank you for all your support. No, I am no, so no, grateful. Oh, come on, Florence. How long will you continue to thank God? So you've thanked us enough. Listen, we are the ones that are supposed to be thanking you for making us proud for your past 23 years of life. You know, we picked you when you were... We were very, very small. Oh, yes. When you were exactly five years old from your mother. <laughs> and since then, you've been so nice to us, showing our children good... Example. <laughs> Even at that, I should be the one very thankful and grateful to both of you. Because it's not all that lost their father before they were born that have the kind of life you've given to me. I am so grateful. So grateful. Yes, um, Florence. Even your father and my elder brother did no less for me before they died. And I gave them my promise that as long as I live, that I will continue to take care of you. All right? Your mother too. She has been a wonderful mother to my family and I. I don't know how to say it. You know what? I wish I were still younger. I would have come to that your birthday party. Eh? I would have said about that birthday party. Oh, the best. Yeah. 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 Even me too. Ah! I would have shown them my dancing step. <laughs> oh, my God. I am so grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. It's okay. It's all right. Day. It's all right, Florence. Uh, and um, how are Jill and them? Uh, is it They're fine. They send their regards. Wonderful couple. They are. Oh my God. Well, what about your birthday pictures? Are they out yet? No, not yet. But the photographer promised to bring them to me today. And please, I will bring them as soon as he brings them for you to ah, see. We okay. can't wait to see those photographs. <laughs> Go to the kitchen. We have food. And of course, we prepared your favorite. Fried rice. Of course. Ah, I'm 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 you said that you would enjoy the meal. I know. I didn't <laughs> know she was coming today. Oh my God! Ah. Nick! Isn't it? What a pleasant surprise. Oh. What, what are you doing here? <laughs> no. I should be the one asking you what you are doing in my house. Your house? Yes. Sit down. What do I offer you? No, 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 no not at the moment. We can forget that for now. I mean, how come? Where do you work? Well, I work here in my husband's house. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it you're married and you never told me? It's not my fault. I waited last three months. For real? Though I tried contacting you, but not even your mother could give me your contact address or your phone number. So, who showed you my house? Oh, coincidence. You know, I covered the ladies' party and I'm supposed to deliver the picture here. I'm not getting something new. Are you trying to tell me that you are now a photographer? Isn't it? The long and short of the whole story is that I'm now a freelance photographer. Uh, photographer? Shh. Uh, don't call me a photographer. He's the photographer that covered my birthday party now. His name is Nicholas. Flora, do you remember the woman Mama introduced to you in the village as her best friend? Uh-huh. Well, Nicholas here is her son. We are schoolmates in the university. Engineer Nicholas, 
meet my younger sister Florence. Oh my God! You mean she's Florence? Yes. That little girl? Mm -hmm. Hey, come on, tell me. What did you eat that got you so blown up? Excuse me, nothing extraordinary. Well, sorry, sorry. No. I must get to something. No, 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 sorry. Uh, isn't it? I want to. I must be running now. Okay, I have some other pictures to deliver somewhere. Okay. I gave your sister my card, okay? I advocate for any assistance I can get from you by means of contacts, weddings, birthday parties, housewarming, burial ceremonies, you know, so that I can just do something to improve my life, okay? No problem. So tell me, how is your mother, your younger brother, everybody? Well, my mother is okay. My younger brother, as I was leaving, he just came with his jam resort and he made 365. Wow! Uh, anytime from now, he'll get into a school. Yeah. I'm not surprised it wrong to the plot. Ah! Flatter me. No. <laughs> Regards to the card, I will try as much as I could to, you know, get you something meaningful this time. Thank you very much. No yeah. Uh, can I shake my hand? Oh, of course you can. Nice. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, sorry, my pictures. Oh! Sorry. <sighs> No robbery intended. <laughs> no robbery. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh my God. This is crazy. Look at you. I see everybody. Wait. Is this not your phone? It's my time. Bed is gonna come. You are welcome, my dear. You are welcome, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, was no. your mother? Uh, yeah, you taking all these things. Oh. That reminds me. It's you people's turn to feed the Reverend Father this month. You're my Reverend Father today. These things are for you. <laughs> was your mother? Uh, all of them. It is too much now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Two weeks ago, you brought two big bunches of plantain and ten tubas of yam for me alone. Mm -hmm. eh? My son sent me money eh? from Germany. And they said they bought these things from, from there. So why won't I give you some? I brought all these ones for you. What's your man? Eh? You mean Chinedu of yesterday? I started sending things to you. Oh, Choco. God. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, they keep asking after you. I mean, Florence and the Zimia. Yeah. Good children. <laughs> How are they? They're fine. Please Very well. extend Very well. my good greetings to them. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without this chief Mabwezi. I keep thanking God every day for him. Huh? My good friend. Mm -hmm. Ozzy. Mm -hmm. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Ozzy, huh? I bought some yam and I know you will like it. Let me get you some to eat. It's your man. You've started. I'm full. I'm full. I would have been here earlier, but you know it has been raining since morning. So uh, let me run along before it starts raining. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Okay. Have you heard something? Hey, don't worry, my dear. Oh, don't worry. Take this. Oh, buy something. Oh, I'll need. I'll send some more money. Let me run along, please. It's threatening to rain again. Soma, thank you very much. Oh. Oh. Bye bye. Don't worry. It was just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. Tell me, 
Do you believe your insults? Huh? Mm. The old woman literally gave me an hour lecture on how to bring this idiot up. It's okay. It's okay, but uh, see, I understand your anger. What did the young man say in all this? He said nothing. And I don't blame him at all. How can this idiot roundly insult a woman she never met before and expect to talk to her again? Mommy, Mommy, I told you I did this because I was afraid of losing him. You were afraid of losing your fiance to a 60-year-old woman? Shame on you. I said okay. shame on you. It's okay now. It's okay. There's no basis for such fear in this case, Informa. No basis at all. Remember I lost my ex to a 60-year-old woman two months to her wedding. I was just afraid I didn't want to happen. It's okay. I think she needs psychological support to pull through her present disappointment and move ahead with her life. But listen, the next man she meets must marry her. That is going to be our next project. No, I don't have No, I don't. It's okay for my it's okay. We won't let it happen again, okay? Hello? I'm a fool, I should call. Yes, yes. Hi, how are you? I'm <laughs> fine, thank you. Um, there's this wedding, it's a society wedding, right? Um, the guy that covered the traditional marriage did a terrible job, so I recommended you and they accepted. Okay, mm. thank, you very, thank you very much. It's okay, remember it's my promise and I'm keeping it, okay? Uh, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, so we'll see you later. Alright, yeah. Right. yeah, take care. Alright, bye. So, because you made 8,000 now, you want to spend everything just one afternoon? Just an innocent gesture. Look, if there's anything I need to hear from you now, it's about yourself. Tell me about you. Well, after my NYC, I was able to convince my brother that I wanted to go to Europe. He helped me and I never knew that the guy that helped in procuring my visa gave me fake documents. I had to get to Europe to discover that I had fake documents. And the immigration had no choice than to send me back with the next available flight to Nigeria. So, I um, mean, were you able to arrest the man? Or were you able to recover your money? Never saw him after that. And to further worsen the situation, my, my brother lost all his monies. I mean, was duped of his money in one particular business invested, all the capital. Um, um, how is he managing? So so. From hand to mouth. Oh. Sometimes I feel I'm the architect of his problems. You know, if I hadn't asked him to send me to Europe, maybe he would have had some money to fall back on when he had his problem, you know? Oh. I just feel that. Uh, my dear, things happen for a reason. You shouldn't blame yourself. What you need to do is to forget about all that has happened and forge ahead. Forge ahead? Yes. What haven't I done to forge ahead? I've written all the aptitude tests of all the professional companies that are linked to my course. And honestly, I passed in all of them. But somehow, they give me flimsy reasons for not employing me. You know, it's, it's a jungle. So, um, have you tried getting a job from other companies? I mean, through a shortcut, like, you know, getting a job through someone that knows someone in the company or something like that? Florence, I hate to call myself an orphan. My dad is late. 
all I have going for me is a, a poor widow. See, that I went to school was by sheer effort, you know, sacrifices from people that cared. My brother couldn't cope. I mean, he dropped out of school because he didn't get such assistance. No, on and on like that, just, it's a sad love song, baby. My uncle, Chief Mabese. Yes. Have you met him? Don't worry, it was just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Chief, I. I'll need all the help I can get so I can get a good job get useful to myself and all the people that had sacrificed for me to to go to school. That's why I came sir. Um Nicholas, my niece told me a lot of good things about you. Um I know your mother. I know your mother as a very virtuous woman. I'll see what I can do to assist you, okay? Thank you very much, sir. Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Mm. And um, even with this statement that I made, I also would want you to realize that um, I do not manufacture jobs. All right? <laughs> so you do not expect all those fast miracles. <laughs> I get you, sir. Good. I get you. Good. I get this. Sir. Good. Um, do you have your TV with you? Oh, I have it right here. Good. Good. <laughs> it's a wonderful result. You made first class as an engineer. Mechanical. This is a wonderful result. I love this. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Oh, you even had your IT in a good company. This is wonderful. Now, um, Nicholas, I was told that at, at the moment you are a freelance. Photographer with one of those uh, companies, is it true? Yes, and is it my that, that, That's what I do to get by for now. Beautiful. Keep it up. Right? Our people are not lazy people. Right? Oh, yes. And, um, even as an engineer, you have more prospect in the labor market. <laughs> you know you. what I mean? Thank you, sir. Thank Keep you. it up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, you say you don't want to drink anything? No, I'm grateful, sir. I'll be, I'll be okay without it. I love intelligent people. Thank you, sir. Good. I'll show you back, sir. Come on. Thank you, Daddy. Good job. Don't worry. It was just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. It's my time that is gonna come one day. Hey, how are the children? Fine, ma. Give them for me. Yes, bye bye. Bye bye. Please do now. I like these two sisters. Though they are not married into the same family, still they cooperate very well. They are not sisters, though. They are just friends. Eh? You mean they are not sisters? Yeah. I wish I could be like them. They are so close to each other. Oh, my euphobia. They understand each other. That's why it's working out for them. Good women. Let them continue. Die. 
eat that thing fast, Sapek. Uh, Florence will soon be coming. I don't want her to come and see all this rubbish, so you dispose of all the wraps, okay? Brother, don't worry. Once she comes, I know, I know how to hide it. Take a bottle. Hmm? I hope she's fine. What kind of foolish statement is that? Yes, coming. Hi. 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 Please sit down. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. I hope it wasn't difficult locating my plane. No, no, not at all. It was not as hidden as you said it would be. So how is this in an husband? Fine, they send their regards. Nice, wow. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, what do I offer you? Nothing. I just want to relax a bit before we start going to the places you said you covered the challenge. Nice, nice. So, wow, this is a nice place. So. <laughs> Thank you, but not as nice as your own home. That's my in-law's apartment. You should be glad you have your own. Thank you. Anyway, um, my younger brother, Emeka. Emeka, Florence, isn't his sister? Brother, she's beautiful. <laughs> Auntie? Yeah, 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 welcome. Thank you. Brother, <clears throat> let me go and see your friend outside. Take, take okay, take oh, care of her. Okay. Auntie, feel comfortable. All right. <laughs> you look terrific. Oh. Thank you. And um, even in your casuals, you're like every lady's dream guy. Whoa. Oh. I'm blushing. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, no offense. Okay. It's okay. It's cool. Um, so, uh, when are we going to the place you want us to go to? Like I said, in one hour, I need to rest a bit before we go. Ah, fine. Oh, uh, relax. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's like Appointment. Don't tell me the friend you came to see is this engineer turned photographer. Hey. Huh? Will you shut up your mouth? You young man, in case you don't know yet, you need to graduate from being an ordinary poor photographer to a more dignifying profession. To be able to stand on your own. And you need help to do that. And of course you can get help from people like my husband and I by laying about with their relations. You know that. And you, get into the car. Get into the car! Because you don't even know your level. Get into the car, come on. Next time I see you anywhere near him, I'm going to report you to your uncle. just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Oh yes, it's my time, but it's gonna come one day. Oh. Running. Uh, I'm back. Mm. 
So how did it go? Were you able to make the payment? You need to see this interview. There was so much stress in the payment. How? The scholarship agent directed me to Canada Embassy, where I went through a tough interview before they could accept the money. But, but why the long process? I thought it was just to register for a scholarship scheme. It's just that they were complaining about some Nigerians that passed the exam in the past. But when they go to Canada, they forgot their school program and join something else. So this time around, they are trying to screen some people out. It is okay. Anyway, thank God you were able to register, okay? But look, Eneka, you have to really start preparing for this text now. Okay? Read. This is an opportunity to have quality education, and in Canada for that matter. Okay, so do everything possible to make sure that you are outstanding. God might lift us up from here. Brother, I promise I will make you proud. I trust you. Thank you, brother. Brother, I never disappointed me. Someone got this letter from the village. Oh, boy. This morning. Oh, but please read that letter to me. I'm, I'm trying to sort out these things. I have to deliver these pictures. This in the next 30 minutes, and I should be with Florence. Jesus Christ. Brother? Mama? Mama? I never knew him for keeping late to anything. Don't worry, maybe it's traffic too. But he should have called to explain now, eh? Shall you call him? Of course you can. Hello? Nicholas? What happened? Talk to me, please. Will you... What? He got the phone on me. He's on like him. Did he say anything? That he's a bit stressed. He cannot make it here. He's not even in the right frame of mind to want to talk to anybody. I'm not sure he's the one because the Nicholas I know will not switch off his phone on you. Let me have the phone. I knew it. Which man will be insulted by Lolo and uh, just for seeing me with him and, and he. I just knew it. Are you sure you're not still falling in love with this guy? Brother Bright and I have gone everywhere to raise this money and nobody's looking our way. Even our friends. Why, why must it be at this time? Why now, now that I just gave you all my life savings, why must it be now that you're procuring this Canadian scholarship? Why?
Don't let her die after all the suffering she had for us. And... Who is that? Come in. Hello. You guys looking very gloomy. What happened? Anyway, I came to find out why you did not come on Saturday and why you didn't even call or pick your calls. Uh, Florence, I'm, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Please. W was it because of what Lolo said the other day? No, 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 not that, just that. Florence, my, my mother has been diagnosed of high knee. And the doctor said we need we need about twenty five thousand naira for the operation. And God knows I've, I've I've tried everything I can. And it's it's happened at a very bad time when I I've used all my life saving to, to procure this scholarship form for my brother. And now my mother is deteriorating. She's dying slowly and I can't help her. It's okay. You should have told me when I called you on Saturday. No, 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 no. Florence, you and Ezine have really done enough for me. Your mother in the village also assists my mother. It won't make sense for me to begin to run up to you uh, every time. See, it doesn't matter who provides the money. What matters is that your mother gets well. That she survives. Yes, but but no wait. buts. Look, I'm just coming from the bank. My uncle gave me a check to cash. All right. Take. Take it. Go home and take care of Mama immediately. She needs it. It's not fair. You need all this money to survive in school. Yes, I need it. But your mother needs it to get a crucial medical treatment. Look, between both of us, who needs it more? Take it. I can't. Oh, Nicholas, Chinedu, my brother, sent me $200. And before I go back to school tomorrow, isn't his husband will still give me some more? So just take it and take care of Mama. Take. Don't worry. It's just for a short time. Thank you very much. All your sorrows will turn to joy. Make a way where there seems to be no way. Oh yes, it's my time that is gonna come one day. Come on, come on. Mama! Sometimes it's tough. Mama! Mama! You may be up there today. Mama! And for Mama! 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 No one knows what tomorrow will ever Your mother is in... Yes. She's... Listen, tell me she's dead. Just, just tell me. I'm an adult. I, I can't take it. Just tell me she's no, dead. No, she's not dead. Three days ago, they wrote me that she's critically ill. I've come to take her to the hospital. Come on, Nicholas. You know, last night, I, I had to rush her to the hospital because her condition was critical. 
Eh? The operation has been carried out and it is successful. You mean she's alive? Yes. She's alive. I just made the initial deposit of 15,000. That's all. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. I'm thank grateful. You. Thank no, you it's for okay. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you for the assistance. Thank you for all you've done for her. I'm grateful. So, where, where is she now? She's in the hospital. Hospital. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's go. Yes, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. <laughs> All the best. Fine, how was the date today? Oh, very beautiful. I have good news as well. Good news? Oh, yes, my dear. I was able to secure two job opportunities today. Oh, and then right. one from Chevron and the other one from a brewing company. So your younger brother will take up the one from a brewing company as a contract staff. Uh, let's get out. Then who will take up the Chevron job? A photographer, of course. That's not proper, no. Hmm? The photographer is a nobody to this family. But my younger brother is your in-law. So he's going to take up the job with Chevron. Let the photographer go to the brewery company. Uh, but you know, it is not proper. Honey, that is the best thing you can do. Huh? At least my brother belongs to you, okay? <laughs> you care for a cold drink. I'm very thirsty. Okay. Ow. Give me a drink first for obtaining that job. This one, this one is too <laughs> sweet. <laughs> oh, the best movie, dear. Let me get your glass. Please. You know, the best, um, the best. Umuade Jemba! Before we round off today's meeting, I would like to remind you all that we are still collecting money for Dugo's burial. The earlier we pay up, the better, so we can plan accordingly. Ozioma, you were not here in our last meeting, and we all agreed to pay 200 naira each. I'll pay my Ugoma, your friend, has not paid. Please, if you see her, remind her. No, I'll pay for her too. I'll pay for her. Right. That's all. Uh, is there any other thing? Mm. Okay. Ugoma, I need a boyfriend. And for the barrier, we are all going to use our usual barrier uniform on that day. And the family is also depending on us. All hands must be on deck. Okay. Umuade Jemba! How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good afternoon, Madlala. Good afternoon, Nicholas. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, Nicholas. Sir, you sent for me, sir. Yes, Nicholas. It seems that you soon take up uh, employment with a, a big industry. Oh, oh my God. Y you don't mean it, sir. Oh, yes. A friend of mine told me that a brewing company need a biochemist to be employed as a contract stuff and i think you should um, apply uh sir I, I didn't read biochemistry i, I read petrochemical engineering sir 
the collapse of war. I will use my influence. Things to work out for you, okay? Sir, did you say uh, I'll be working as a contract staff? Yes, because that's what they have now. Okay, sir. Honestly, sir, I, I would really love to work as a petrochemical engineer. You know, not a biochemist, you know, I don't know. Yeah, come on, man, son. A bed in hand is worth more than a million in the bush. Yeah, Lolo, I, 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 I agree with you, and I know, but uh, Lolo, I, I mean, working as a petrochemical engineer will give me room to express my academic ingenuity, the things I read in school, and I will express myself, and I'll be able to, you know, I have job satisfaction doing that more than practicing something else I didn't read in school. That's what I think, man. I knew it from the very first time I set my eyes on you that you are the greedy type. Yes! Just look at you. But I know people like you. They always end up miserable failures. <laughs> He's not even grateful. Please don't talk like that, all right? Um, make all else. Sir. I have tried my best for you, okay? Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. But I want to please uh, apologize. Uh, it's not like I'm not appreciative of what you have done, sir. Maybe it's just my knack in life that I, I do what I read originally. I'm sorry, sir. I have to take my leave now. Of course, you don't have a choice. That's the only option open to you. Now leave my house. And listen to me. Don't ever come back to this house again to ask for any help. Oh, the best, oh, the best, please. please. Chief, leave me. These young boys of nowadays, they are very, very ungrateful. Let him go, Biko. Yes, coming. Sorry, my love. How is it? What's going on? Fine. Okay. I hope this one you're here, you're not here for loan. Or... No, I am here for good. Okay. Spirit. So this morning, I heard my neighbor discussing about the wedding going on at Siemens Hotel this morning. And you know what it means to a professional photographer like you? Meet somebody that appreciates your yeah. hard work and your customer. Thanks, my brother. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, so the wedding is on now as you speak? Of course. Immediately. Now. Then I should be getting ready. Yeah, it's good. You go there and try a lot. So I should be going there. Well, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Ah, my brother. No one knows what tomorrow will ever bring. Never know, yes, I know. Someday, one day. Why did you tell me this morning? Why, why are you... 
Okay, so how long is he going to take? Just now. Which I will fix up there. What of my own or what of my own? Boy, relax. I'm coming. I need my own now. I'm coming. It's only me. It's just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Oh, yes. It's my time. Bed is gonna climb. My change, my change, give my change first. I'm coming. Here. Oh, you mean you're just going to get the change now? Ah! Boy, allow me to rest now. Ah! I'll be waiting here, sis. Now I'm coming. I said, how special. This is for how long? Bring her home now. What's wrong with you? Asking after the people that just got married here. Yeah. They don't go. What do you mean they are they, they don't? Go? They don't go since. They don't go. Now you are the I I'm, a, I'm the photographer that covered their wedding, okay? Uh, and I need to, I just want to print the pictures. I need to give them back their prints. That's why I'm here. This is an jump question. After the wedding, then they go. They don't go since. So you don't know where I can locate them anywhere around. Maybe somebody I can give I don't know the them. pictures to to give them. They don't go. It's my time, my time, but it's gonna come one day. Oh, one day, I feel I will make it Is 
there anything in the house? I'm hungry. Is there food in the kitchen? <coughs> and me too. But there's nothing in the house. Oh, God. Oh. And I just used all the money I have to go and print picture for these people. And before I came back, they were gone. Eh? Please manage this 200, okay? See what you can prepare with it. That means uh, I have to cook beans since we have small garden in the cupboard. Yes, garden in the cupboard. Yeah. Hey, manage it now, just cook whatever. Come in. Florence. Auntie Florence. What a surprise. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Um, you're welcome. Thank you. I'm so tired. I'm just coming from the market. Welcome. I want to buy some food stuff for Ezinne. And so I decided to use the opportunity to buy some for you. So take this. <coughs> oh no, Florence. For God's sake, you, you didn't have to bother yourself buying all this. Please, Nicholas, it's a gift. Even at that, you don't have to do it. I mean, you're spending too much, don't you think so? You don't cook soup, do you? We, we don't cook because we don't have a fridge. The last time I cooked, the food went sour. So mm. that's why we don't cook. All right, just keep it there. Uh, um, I'll go and drop this one with Ezine. When I come back, I'll make the soup for you. All right, fine. Um, you. Yeah, how about your mother? Any news? Oh, mom is well. She's okay. Okay, that's cool. good. Thank you very much. It's Thank all right. You. you didn't even tell Thank me how your discussion with uncle went. Oh, Lolo. Lolo was very unfair to me that day. I mean, just because I mentioned that I wouldn't want to do any cause that is not what I read. You know, my vocation is petrochemical engineering and I can't work as a biochemist so I haven't said that she didn't like it she was angry she was irritated she called me names she even walked me out of your house it's okay don't worry we'll talk about it when I come back let me hurry up there. I'll be back soon okay okay then when you buy it okay, come yeah. back there. I felt so sorry for him in fact he said as he was leaving, Lolo called him a greedy dog. What? I mean, that's unfair. Nicholas doesn't deserve such treatment. Moreover, for rejecting an offer he didn't like. I know, Lolo, she trained me. She can be very difficult at times. But I can't explain her hostility towards Nicholas. I can't. Hmm. Who knows, maybe he, she saw both of you together the other day. You know how jealous she could be. So, how does it concern her? Besides, we're just friends. I like him, yes. But there's nothing else going on between both of us. Please, Izzy, we have to do more to help him. Yes, I've already decided to speak to Chidi about him. Oh, that's so kind of you. Because that guy does not deserve to be living in such hardship. <laughs> Flora. You have to be very careful. You are sounding like you're falling in love with that guy without knowing it. Me? Yes, you. Are you sure? Of course. in love with Nicholas. Isn't he was right? But come to think of it, Nicholas is a nice guy and he graduated that. He's handsome and attractive that any woman would like to have him around. <laughs> come on Florence, what are you doing? He hasn't even said anything yet. So be calm. Be calm, girl. Such a nice qualification. Thank you, sir. Nicholas. Sir. My wife and her sister have told me about you. Oh wow, that's very kind of them. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Well, 
I'm not making promises at the moment. But my best friend is the head of human resources in an oil company. I will present your case before him to see what he can do. Uh, but sir, uh, for just saying that, may God bless you, sir. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you, sir. It's well. It is well. Don't worry. It is well. It is just for a short time. All your sorrows will turn to joy. Lonik! Brother! Thank you, thank you. Brother! It's my time. Brother? Brother? Come, 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 come. And Florence bought fish for us. Fridge, yes, come, Fridge. come, follow me, come, 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 come. Florence, you bought me a fridge? Um, not really, but this is the one I, I use in school. Okay, so you brought the one you use in school so you can use your pocket money to buy another one? For God's sake, Nicholas, you... you going through this stressful... For God's sake, Nicholas, you need a fridge in this house. But yes, but I... I intend to buy soon. Uh, till then, be using this one. Brother Nick, please, she's, she said he's a, he's, he's a gift. I don't to accept it with gratitude. Leave him, instead of him to take the thing and that, and you just look, I'm on my way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry okay? Thank you very much. It's okay, take it inside. Let me rush off here, I'll see you later. Okay. And please, start using the refrigerator. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? He's written all, all over you. Okay, shut up. Shut up if I shut your mouth up for you. Well, let me see. Wow. But she's beautiful and she looks nice too. But the problem is you won't be able to maintain her. You're just ordinary photographer. Okay, shut up. What do you know about love? You think money can buy love? You think love is all about money? Or you think this is bread and acker? Ah, Mr. Chili. Smart Mr. Chili himself. Smart Is this you? My brother. Please have a seat. Thank you. This one that I'm seeing you in my office today, I hope I'm safe. Smart. Um, actually, I was on my way to lunch and I decided to come and discuss very important things with you. After which, if you don't mind joining me, then of course you know that I'm ready to share any work of my hand to have a lunch with you. Yes, Some more? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Um, it is. Um, one of my wife's cousins. He studied petrochemical engineering and um, is now coming to me to secure employment. And you know it doesn't fall in my area. So, I don't know. Good. I understand. So how well do you know him? Um, I don't know him too well. But he grew up with my wife. They attended the same schools up to university level. And my wife holds him in a high esteem. You must have met him in person. What is your assessment about him? Yes, um, he's a nice and hard working young man. 
You won't believe four years after graduating without a job. Jesus Christ. He's doing freelance photography job. Tell me. A petrochemical engineer? A freelance photographer? That's it, my brother. Oh my God. This country is in a mess. Okay. Tell him to send his CV. Let me see what I can do for him. Just because of you. <laughs> Just because of you, Tim. <laughs> Squato, Mama. Come on, let's go. You say so? Smart, Yeah, Mama. Yes. Ah. Hi. Luxie, hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Afternoon, I, I wasn't expecting you. Oh yes, um, I forgot a few things, so I came back to pick them. So my brother-in-law says since I'm around, I should bring this letter to you. Okay. So, how are you? I'm fine. This can be true. There must be a mistake somewhere here. What is it? This letter says uh, Mobile is inviting me for a job interview Monday next week. Me? Monday next week? Job Mobile? Mobile? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I overreacted. I'm, I'm, it's just I'm too happy. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I love you. Can you be my girlfriend? Do you love me? I mean, can you love a guy like me? Ah, Mr. Chi. Mr. Chi himself. Swato. Is this you? My brother. Please have a seat. Thank you. This one that I'm seeing you in my office today, I hope I'm safe. Smart. Um, actually, I was on my way to lunch and I decided to come and discuss very important things with you. After which, if you don't mind, join me. Jin, of course, you know that I'm ready to shave any work of my hand to have a lunch with you. Some more years. Yes. Go ahead. Um, it is. Um, one of my wife's cousins, he studied petrochemical engineering and um, is now coming to me to secure employment. And you know it doesn't fall in my area. So, I don't know. Good. I understand. So how well do you know him? Um, I don't know him too well. But he grew up with my wife. They attended the same schools up to university level. And my wife holds him in a high esteem. You must have met him in person. What is your assessment about him? Yes, um, he's a nice and hard working young man. You won't believe four years after graduating without a job. Jesus Christ. He's doing freelance photographic job. Tell me. A petrochemical engineer? A freelance photographer? That's it, my brother. Oh my God. This country is in a mess. Okay. Tell him to send his CV. Let me see what I can do for him. Just because of you. <laughs> Just because of you, Tim. <laughs> Swato, Mama. Come on, let's go. Yes. Ah. Hi. Luxie, hi. Uh, hi. Good 
Good afternoon. Afternoon. I, I wasn't expecting you. Oh yes. Um, I forgot a few things, so I came back to pick them. So my brother-in-law says since I'm around, I should bring this letter to you. This can be true. There must be a mistake somewhere here. What is it? This letter says uh, Mobile is inviting me for a job interview Monday next week. Me? Monday next week? Job Mobile? Mobile? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I overreacted. I'm, I'm, it's just I'm too happy. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I love you. Can you be my girlfriend? Do you love me? I mean, can you love a guy like me? said you'll contact me if I am successful. Sure. I'm sure they will call you back. Amen. My friend um, Smart gave me his word. He said he's going to do his best on that regard. Thank you, sir. Well, sir, uh, I came to thank you and your wife for making this opportunity available to me. Oh. Please, sir, accept this. You shouldn't have taken the extra trouble of bringing us a wine. We have more than enough. Yes, ma'am, but I don't know. This is not to pay back or anything, but it's like if I don't do it, my conscience won't, won't stop pricking me. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, I have always thought we're a gentleman. So, how is your mother recuperating? She's fine. She's doing well. It is well. Amen, sir. <laughs> As brother, Vice President, you and I have offered me an audition. I got the message like last week, but I don't want to tell because of your financial status. America, you stop being pessimistic. Huh? For once, why don't you try to be optimistic in life? So now you've got the admission, you think God that gave you the admission cannot make the way for you to pay yourself through school? Huh? But I'm when, when? I'm, I'm no more getting younger. Believe in destiny. At least, I know that school you can even I'm looking for what Mr. Nego can offer you. I hope there is no problem. No problem. Please sign here for your mail. I told you. I told you. Stop being pessimistic. You see? Be optimistic for once. Oh, Can you imagine? Thank you, Lord. Hang on, thank you, Lord. Wait, let me take a call. Congratulations. I told you. Yeah, hello? Yes, sir. My name is Nicholas of Fozzi. Yes. What? Yes, sir. Sir? Yes, yes. All right, sir. Oh, okay, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Guess what? A new photo coverage job. Nah. The link is in his husband gave me to the oil company. He just called me now. And he said I'm a star. Very things that one. I think I need to come for it. She should hear it go first. Go on, go on. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hi baby. I got two piece of good news for you. The first being that Emeka has gotten scholarship with the Canadian government. He just offered him a scholarship to read medicine in the University of Toronto. Hey, hey stop shouting. Wait, wait, uh, the second one. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Let, wait, wait, let, let me, me talk let me, to that. Wait, wait, hang on. Let me, let me give you the second gist. And the second news is that the link your in-law gave me just called me now and they just told me that I got a job with the oil company and now a staff. Let me talk to her. Let me talk what? To her. Oh. She oh, comes to the phone and she says, she says, she says, she says, she says, This. Uh, you have to show this in your productivity. I will. As your application letter said, you'll be working with us as a, a quality control engineer in our lubricant plant right inside this complex. Okay, sir. I will direct you to your immediate box. We will bring someone who will show you around and take you to your official car. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Events that had have occurred in my life seems to me like a dream that will fizzle out someday. I mean, it's it's too good to be called good luck. Well, that's just God's miracle for you. I know you are the miracle. You are God's special blessing to me. Can we, like, you know, eat this food in peace? No, 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 no. You are the harbinger of my joy. Cornerstone of my love, my peace. The evening won't be complete without talking about my darling. I love you very much, Nicholas. I really do. It's just that um, I'm a bit threatened by your sudden rise to success. I don't know, it scares me. We will take the combined efforts of the CIA, KGB, Israeli Mossad, Nigerian SSS, and of course, God's angel to take your place in my life. Of course, you know God is not an impartial God. I won't take your place. Let's eat. I love you.
money not too much they said the money must be paid before they start processing the paper and the scholarship manager told me that the program will start in the next three weeks Alaka. you know I just spent some huge money moving into this apartment and you remember how much I invested into brother Bright's business I understand brother it's slightly tight now let me see what happens in one week, okay? Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Don't worry. Thank you. Uh, what do you have in your house? Don't worry. It was just for a short time. All your sorrows will die. Look at you. God, you've changed. You're so different. Really? <laughs> Please tell me, who is this guy that's actually bringing out all your feminine grace? <laughs> Everything a woman wants in a man. Come with me. He must have touched you in the weakest part of your heart. <laughs> because, I mean, it's all like you to openly express love for a man. Well, he changed all that, and, you know, I mean, it's just all the time that. Oh, oh darling. Me? Yeah. Thank you. I really missed you. Not as much as I missed you. So how are you? I'm fine. It's just the school stress. It's very, very tiring. <laughs> I understand. Mm -hmm. ah. So uh, how about Izzy and her husband? They went for a wedding. Mm. But they were sent back anyway. Um, sorry. Um, Ifoma, this is Nicholas. My boyfriend, Nick Ifoma. Hello. Hi. My pleasure. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Look, I mean, Florence has told me a lot about you, but she didn't tell me you're this handsome. <laughs> Please, Ifoma. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, please, honey. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, I won't mind a glass of water. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in one second. Uh, I learned that um, Igwe has a message for me. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. What is it? <clears throat> you know, last time the Igwe had is of you traveled to the States. Correct. Yes. That's correct. This time, he is inviting you specially. <laughs> and moreover, he is also organizing some awards for some of the elders. Really? Of really? which you happen to be one of the recipients. Oh, we are not you. That's very thoughtful of him. It's all right. It's all right. Sincere apology 
for the suddenness of this notification. Mm -hmm. She bear with him, he said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all right, it's all right. And I ask you people, what date is that? Next AK market. Mm, next market day. Yes, next AK market day. Um, or the best. What's our program like? Honey, whatever engagement we have, leave ways invitation to pass. Chief G. Well, I All right. Uh, no problem. We are going to surprise you. Yeah? Thank you. Yes. Tell him. Thank you, Chair. Yes. yes. Next week, market day is in two days time. Ah. Are you sure we can make? Of course. Melody indicates. All the best. All right. I think you should uh, please get them something to eat. Let me enjoy my kindred. Take me cool about. Three hundred. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, hello, Ifama. Hey, what's going on? You sound moody. Are you okay? I uh, I would like us to talk about something, something very important. Talk about what? No, no, there's no problem. I think I would like us to be friends, like very good friends. If I'm, uh, I'm busy at the moment. God knows I, I can't talk now. Maybe some other time. Okay. No. Bye. Stop it! Stop it! This is not right! Life is not a bed of Ifama, has it occurred to you that I'm planning to get married to your friend? Ifama, you know what? I don't like talking to girls like you. Come on, it's a man that's supposed to walk up to a girl and warm up to a girl. But the, the reverse is the case here. You're warming up to me. Until we saw the elders coming, mm. we were shocked that day. Right. 
You know, I thought that uh, maybe something happened in the village. Nobody told me about any award. I just saw it and collected it. <laughs> so where are the pictures? Let's look at them. Oh, it, it didn't occur to us. Uh, we would have um, uh, told uh, Nick to cover the Nicholas. picture. Yes. At least the poor boy would have made some money for himself. Nicely. Just that his problem is greed. That boy is too greedy. <laughs> uh, it was fine, sir. It was okay. Are you just coming back tomorrow? Okay, you come in the morning, right? You said? Ah, okay. Hello! What the fuck? What do you want in my house? That's not a good one for me. Oh. You call me on my phone. I don't pick your call. You pester me more, and I want you to stop calling me, and you think the way out so come into my house, trace my house, and I'll give you a red carpet welcome. Is that it? Calm down. There's really no cost for now, okay? I I have a few things to tell you, so let's walk into the house. Listen, I'm not interested. Get out of my house. Look, Nick, until you taste the pork and the things, you cannot tell the difference, okay? Look, you need a woman like me to know what a real woman feels. Do you know the worst mistake that Florence made? Her worst mistake is having you as a friend. And I would not make her cry because of you. Not possible. Now get out. If you don't mind, leave my house. Mm -mm, let's not go there. I think you've been a little bit too fast. <laughs> Nick, okay, I... Listen to me. Want to step out like uh, a decent lady? Or you want me to push you out? I'm offering you myself on a platter. Excuse me, I don't want yourself. You want to move it now? Okay, okay, wait. See, I, I have a few things to tell you about Florence. Listen, I'm not interested. Hell no! Just get out! I, I don't think I'll be. Get out! No, I'm gonna move it now. It's not gonna go. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez, okay. Jeez. okay. Move it to me. And don't you ever come back to this house again. Oh. Out. Open that gate. Thank you very much. I'm not interested. Get out. Get out! Hey, what do you mean I can't do that, man? Okay, okay, Shut up! Okay, okay. Hey. Right. This time now, please get into my house. Post the wall before I put to your job. Don't let this guy come into my house. Okay. She wants to tell me about Florence. So I can quit Florence and marry her. Slot. and tell me whatever it is. I don't understand you anymore. Why is it that men always refuse me in preference to women I'm even far more beautiful than? Wait a minute. Why is it that they never give me a chance to prove myself? Hold on, please. Don't tell me you've been into another relationship without telling Betty and I. But it's just that he would not even let me come close. He's too preoccupied with some girl. He won't even give me the benefit of doubt. Nothing. Nothing. Who could this man be? His name is Nicholas. Lolo is from your village. He's madly in love with Florence. Nicholas. Your husband's niece. Hey! Wait there! Don't 
tell me you've been crying and killing yourself over that tree trap. That ordinary photographer. Oh, you disappoint me, Foma. No, no, no. Oh, God. Nicholas is not an ordinary photographer. He does not do photography jobs anymore. But what? He was employed just three months ago in an oil company as a quality control engineer. How can I fall for an ordinary photographer? You know it's not possible, Lolo. You know it's not possible. Come, 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 come. Tell me more about this. It's true. Just three months ago. He's not a big boy. It's okay. Wipe my tears and stop crying, okay? And I want him all to myself. Betty and I will talk about this later. Come on, give me a smile. <laughs> no, you just don't there, though. It's just that I love this man. That's all. I really love him this time. I know why you came to cry for me because you know I'll do something. Oh, well. yeah, I know. <laughs> it's Thank all right. Thank you. Okay. Let's relax then. Huh? Okay. Oh, Nicholas. I just got <laughs> <laughs> Florence, now that you are in your final year, how are you finding your studies? I mean, have you gotten your thesis topic? Yes, I have, Uncle, and that is why I'm here. I, I, need, I need some money to write it, and I don't want to bother my brother-in-law about that. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, it's even good that you mentioned it here. You do not need to bother your brother-in-law or any other person about your problems. You are still my responsibility. All right? If Ezin had not insisted that you join her, you wouldn't have even left this house for anything. And you know that. Anyway, how much do you need? Well, it's, it's just 50,000 naira, but um, if you... Oh, no, 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 50,000 naira. I will make it available to you. You will need to come to my office to collect it. Hmm? Um, Ezine is married. And with my three children being all boys, you are the only girl in the family. So why won't I take care of you? I will see what I can do. All right? Thank you very much, Uncle. I am very grateful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And um, what about other things? You don't need all the... Okay. All right. Let's see. I finally used my husband, Chief, his influence in the town in to put his name in the list of... Uh, members of the end of year party committee. Since both of us are members, that would be a very good opportunity for us to meet with them and finally start the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he aware yeah. yet? Mm, no. No, let me just call. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, something just occurred to me now. The first meeting of the committee it's going to go here. It's about 30 p.m., right? Yes. Tell him it's still there to be. Why now? Don't you want him to be part of the proceedings? No. See, we will find a flimsy excuse to postpone the meeting. And when the members arrive, we will get them to leave before he comes. Yes, because we can't afford to be seen with him, you know, talking with him. Besides, a scandal might erupt from what we're planning, and if we are ever linked, it's hmm. hmm. must have strategies. Strategies. <laughs> okay, let me call it then. Hello? 
that Nicholas? Well, this is Lolo, Chief Wabez's wife. I am calling to inform you that your name has been added to the list of members of the end of year organizing committee. Yes, and uh, the first meeting will be held in Madame Betty's house on Saturday by 3.30 p.m. That's good. Okay, please don't fail to be there. Fine. Thanks, sir. Oh, the game has started. The game has started. Under no circumstances should you attempt to see him again until we tell you to do so. The meeting was postponed. All right, uh, I should be leaving in that case. No, 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 Please don't go. Well, why don't you just sit down? Let's talk. Yes, please sit. Okay. I um, actually do not a way to talk to you and apologize to you for what I did to you that I I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry to you. No, 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 madam. You don't have to apologize. I, I already forgave you, okay? Um, it's really, no problem about that. I'm really very sorry. If you wouldn't mind, I'm ready to explain certain things to you. No, it, it, it's not necessary. Even her marriage was almost ruined then. Recently, I have had to reconcile her with most of the people she estranged then. Please don't go bearing grudges for her. No, no, no. There's no way I could be bearing grudges for her and be sitting with the both of you. That's very good of you. Thank you very much. I don't think you know Betty very well. Mm. She was Flores' nanny before they lost their father. Oh my god. She <laughs> actually knew to Flores' father. You never mentioned that to me though. Okay. Nice. My pleasure, man. Yes, pleasure. <laughs> well, Nicholas. In case you need advice of any sort, don't hesitate to call on us. All right. We'll always be there for you. Thank you, madam. I appreciate it. Ah, I should be on my way now. Okay, I want to. Yeah. Ah, I'm cool. Are you sure? Some other time. Okay. All right. Please. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Lord. I'm fine, and you? Uh, so how's the family? Oh, lunch with you and your family on Sunday? Okay, okay. I think I can make it. Yeah, I will. I sure will. My regards to Chief. All right, then. Bye, man. Thank you. Uh, Nico, sir. 
My wife told me that you got yourself a new job. Oh, yes. Uh, that's about three months ago. Nice. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You're welcome. Yeah, how are you? Where is your mother, please? Yes, sir. Oh, oh madam. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, you're welcome. Yes. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I just want to see you. I hope there's no problem. No, 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 no problem. Okay. Come on. Bless you, Abby. Ah, <laughs> I'm doing my best. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me not waste your time. Let me just go straight to the point. See. Okay. I actually came to talk to you about my both brothers. Okay. You see, barely two months ago, I gave my elder brother seven hundred thousand to start up a business. Yeah. As I speak to you, we've not seen the capital, say less profit or whatever. <laughs> it's okay by me. And for Emeka, I've spent about 500000 for his visa procurement. I'm still waiting to spend another 400000 when the visa comes up for his ticketing and other itineraries. Now, Bright wants a society wedding. He wants a large wedding. And it's all on me. And I'm, I've been telling him to cut down, cut your coat according to your size. He's saying no. And I just need you to help me talk to him. I, I can't carry all this on my head. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You just let him have his wedding the way he wants it. He's once in a lifetime. Hmm? It's okay. Uh, you know what you're going to do? Mm, just go back to him. You know, wedding is a lifetime something. So go to him. Find out the exact figure he needs for the wedding. Then come back to me with the little you have. I will make it up for you. Oh, ma'am. We, we, we can't keep bothering with our family problems. I mean, uh, I am it's not, not fair. I'm not complaining. See, you are like a son to Chief and I. So, we can do anything for you. Just go ahead. You will pay me back whenever you have it. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> Thank welcome, you. Ma uh, I don't know what to say. Drink for you. Ah, no, ma'am, I'm okay. You're Let me okay? just rush back to where I'm coming from. It's alright. Yeah, no. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Have a nice day. Yeah, bye. Bye. Don't hesitate to tell me whenever you need something. Remember, you are like a son to us. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Thank you, bye. Sweetheart! Yes! Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, um, I finally made it. Guess what? You mean? I am now a graduate. Oh, 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 so, oh, so, sorry about that. I, I, sorry. It's okay. I didn't see that coming. Uh, so, uh, this calls for celebration. Yes, so I am so happy. Then we're going to celebrate in a grand style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I give you a major dinner and a five star hotel. Yes. That's my deal. <laughs> Do you have something in mind? Mm. I think I'll go with your deal. Honey, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh my God! I have a dream. All your sorrows will turn to joy. God will make a way where it seems to be no way. Oh yes, it's my time. This is nice. Really nice. I especially arranged for it. Really, it's really nice. Florence. For all you are to me. For all you've done in my life. For the brighter days you've made me see. The love we share. I sincerely wish I can have you all to myself for the rest of my life. Marry me.
today, uh, today I am fulfilled because I couldn't wish for something better than to be with you. And yes, I will marry you. Chief, yes. there's something Flora told me yesterday which I consider improper. If you hear it from an outsider, because we don't only take you as an uncle, but we see you as the only father we grew up to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Izzy, I have always known you as a very intelligent girl. So what could that be? Flora, you tell him yourself. Um, <clears throat> Chief. Yes. Somebody wants to marry me. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> That's very interesting. Uh, uh, I That's am happy great. for you. Flora, Flora. Uh, <laughs> that means you're going to spend your honeymoon in the NYSE camp. <laughs> mm. Mm. Congratulations! Oh, yeah. That's good news. Mm. And who is the lucky guy? Nicholas. Nico. Hey, God, God, I thank you. I thank you so much, God. It's a good choice. Mm. Come. Congratulations. Come. Mm. Yeah. My little angel. Mm. Congratulations, congratulations. Nicholas is nice enough. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Am I excluded from this? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, you people have made me proud. Oh, this is good. Good. I'll give you the necessary support, right? Thank you. No, no. Um, good the best. See what is happening in our house. Please, you will arrange one or two things a cause for celebration. <laughs> what is it from? Is it all right? I have finished my word. Tell me, what is it? Florence called me to say Nicholas proposed to her and she accepted. Oh my God. Oh, no, I thought something going? grave happened. Just calm down. Calm down, please. I was even about calling you. Wait a minute. Lolo, do you know about this proposal? Lolo, so you know about this proposal and you didn't tell me? You called it proposal, didn't you? I do not understand. Well, it may not actually become marriage. Listen to me, former. Filing that marriage proposal is bringing you close to the man you love for me. It's a matter of personal vendetta which I am passionate about. Personal vendetta? Yeah. Isn't they actually got married because I was taking on her ways? Their mother did everything to foil my marriage. I know what I did before Chief married me. So, it's only going to be a proposal, nothing more than that. It won't get further than that. <sighs> See why I said you should calm down? <sighs> Lola, no, no, I'm relieved, okay? Leave everything to me. Just follow me the way I'm going about it, okay? 
You would not believe how many times I died on the way before getting to this place. Don't just die before don't we believe. get married because I, you know I'm looking forward to that marriage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Calm down. Eh? Oh, well, I'm trying to put one or two together. I love her and I would like to have her as my wife. Um, but don't you think that uh, I'm not supposed to be here alone? Don't you have uh, uncles or a father? Uh, nine. My father is dead. Um, I actually did not forget to come with my people. I only came to make my intentions known to you before knowing when to come with them. That's okay. That's right. You know, I'm not the person you want to marry. It is my daughter. Uh, let me call her and let her speak for herself. Uzo Amaka. Uzo Amaka. Yes, Papa. Please come here. Uh, this young man says you want to have your hand in marriage. What do you say? Um, Papa, I think I like him. <laughs> hmm. Would you like him to be your husband? Yes, Papa. My son. You've heard from the horse's mouth. The task now is for you to go and tell your people and come back to me. Okay, Nine. I'll do just that. That's good. Thank you, Nine. Is insults from your, your, your brother's wife. Oh. I won't. See, if she doesn't want me to be her, her, her co wife, she can equally go somewhere else. I get so much for you. But insulting me is what I will not take. I won't take it. I won't take it anymore. It's okay, it's okay. What, did she embarrass you or what? What did she tell you? Mm, I've told you, I've told you. I, I, I might not be as beautiful as she wants me to be, but that must, doesn't make me feel less a woman. Oh. Go and wanna for me. Go and wanna for me. It's okay, Uzo. It's okay. I promise it won't happen again. I don't care whether it happens again or not. But what I want to tell you is that I'm not desperate for marriage. I am not. It's okay, Uzo. It won't happen again, honestly. Are you sure? Wait, as a matter of fact, I'm going to see her right away. Yes. Are you coming back? Yes, I'll be back. I'm waiting for you. How my little Hmm? Don't go, 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 don't go
that woman. Go and win that woman. She, she's getting my nerves. I can't take it any longer. Everything is becoming unbearable, Mama. Everything is becoming unbearable. What's the matter my daughter listening? In marriage, you don't expect everybody in your husband's family to like you. There must be some people that may be rather jealous of you and wouldn't want you to be part of them. So you have to concentrate on what is and not on Ozioma. So calm down and take it easy. But Mama, what does that woman think she is? What is wrong with that woman? Mama, please go and advise her because God help her. Let me not touch her. Because if I do, Heavenly Father, she will never forget someone like me in her, in her entire life. She's a fellow woman. Go and give her a candid advice. Please, Mama, for her own good. For her own good, Mama. I've told you to calm down. Mama, this is not a calming down issue. This is not a calming down. Go and warn her for me. Okay. I have had you. Mm -hmm. I'll go and warn her. If she will listen, she has to listen. She has to listen. I will go. I've never seen you in this mood before. You're so moody, are you alright? How convenient it is for you to sound innocent. How could you do a thing like that? How could you? No, I, I don't get you. I mean, I can't remember having a quarrel with you. The last time I came to your house, we were happy. Huh? That's all I can think of. That's the more reason I am annoyed with you. How could you go to the extent of proposing to Florence without letting me know at all, at all? No, no, no. I'm so, so, so. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I was, I was hoping that she would inform you and Chief while I go to tell my people about it. Even at that, you should have told me. Well, what are we family friends for? I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you've made background investigations. Uh, I actually, my uncle and my mom will do that for me. And I, I intend to travel home soon. Maybe next week or there about. And I inform them about this whole plan. Well, I could do that for you because I'll be going to the village this weekend. Thank you, Lolo. Thank you. I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you brother. Uh, there are certain things I want to send home to my mother too. Maybe you can help me deliver them to her. Of course I can help you. Thank you, Mama. It's okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, you don't want to take anything. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm good. I just came to see you for this, huh? All right, Lily. Thank you. I was going to miss you people. Oh. Um, it's been long I sent something to my mother. And I presume her provisions will be running dry now. So I said that uh, only bring this week I have make it to her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Nicholas. Oh, this for her? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, you are very delighted. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Nicholas, I must tell you that um, I'm very happy the way you are taking care of that. No, because that way she will live longer. <laughs> well, she's all I and my siblings have, so we have to take care of her. That's Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Keep it up. No. Uh, mommy, um, I know it's planting time, season, so she wants to buy some crops. Let's have pinky. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Eh? Yes, See, take good care of Florence for me. 
Okay. I'm sure your mother will be delighted to learn that you are going to get married to her best friend's daughter. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, yes, my color. Everything's in the camera. So. All right. Is anything else? Oh, man. Don't worry. Where are your bags? Mother, it will be too bad if... Uh, Mother, you don't have any reason to talk this way. You know, we never expected this journey to be this early and the travel to be this urgent. How could he want you to pay this whole money in just one week and travel to Canada? Hell no. It's too urgent for me. I don't have that kind of money anywhere. And you know I just paid back 400000 naira to Lolo. And I see I'm owing her some balance. You have to understand. Best brother, you gave me your ways that nothing will ever make me lose this opportunity. Yes, I did. But at the moment, I don't have 400000 naira. I don't have it. And all my friends that are accosted to ask, they said they don't have. What do you want me to do? And you are telling me how you spent over 50,000 naira on Florence's graduation party. Maybe that one is more important to you than your younger brother's education and future. How dare you, Emeka? Emeka, I'm disappointed to hear that from you. I mean, you talk about Florence in that light? A girl who sacrificed everything when we had nothing. And you have the right? Oh my God. Listen. I don't have 400,000 naira, and I'm not going to steal it from nowhere. I'm sorry to say that, brother. You better be. But you must have to understand that I'm frustrated. Okay, brother. W why don't you borrow from Lola again? I'll do no such thing. How do I face her? Every time I have a problem, I run to Lola. Right? Well, I will do it by myself. Just approve it. Well. What uh, to do to get yourself out of this town? Do it. Please do it. Count me out at this moment. It's my interest, but I don't have it. Okay? Maybe when I raise money, I'll be able to pay back whoever you borrowed from. But for now, And uh, why is it suddenly becoming an issue? It is because your late brother Iwowe mm -hmm. is Florence's biological father. And even with that knowledge, Osuma is pushing Florence to Nicholas to marry as his wife. And he has agreed. No, no. Mm -mm, Vanon. <laughs> I don't believe this. Mm -mm. Nicholas, you mean I left the comfort of my home to come here and crack jokes with you on issues like this? No, Ozuma and I never kept secrets from each other since our childhood. Very well then. This is one big secret which is capable of destroying your son that he has kept from you over these years. Meanwhile, I am sure by now you know she's no longer happy with you because you don't depend on her anymore. This is incest. What will become of her daughter? Because she will also die. <laughs> Mama Nicholas. Mama Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Osioma has never liked Florence. And she has made, on more than three occasions, made attempts on her life. Mm -hmm. Yes! Why do you think Chief took her away from her when she was less than five years old? <laughs> she knows 
her adulterous lifestyle caused her husband's death. And since Florence is a direct product of that shame, she hated her from day one. Oh. And this is the only way she can eliminate her. And I tell you, as I'm here with you now, she has resorted to diabolical means to make sure it happens. Jesus Christ! Christ. Ozioma, planning evil against my own son? Lord, I will confront her over this. Lord, I swear! Lord, this is my fight. God, don't hey. take this dangerous. Keep quiet. I am going to fight for you. Even before I came here, I decided I will fight for you and foil her plans. The only thing she has succeeded in doing is to charm Nicholas so that he will no longer send anything to you. Oh my God. Imagine Nicholas telling me he has nothing to give you when I told him I wanted to come up. Ozioma jammed my own son. No, but this. I said, I'm. It's a dangerous Don't do anything to alert her. Or she will kill your son for you. God forbid. Avoid her henceforth. Avoid her. I will make sure I follow her plans and bring back your son to you unharmed. Hmm? <sighs> I know how much you suffer. No, 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 Avoidance, avoidance, okay? Hmm. Eh? Zuma, 